everyone, welcome back. Um, today I want to just go through a quick um, little makeup routine with you guys. Um, it's uh, basically centered around using yellow eyeshadow. I know a lot of people think yellow eyeshadow is tricky and unwearable, um, but actually it's extremely wearable, it's extremely suitable for all skin types, um, and it's a really great way to make your eyes look really refreshed and open and awake, um, especially if you've been short on sleep the night before. So um, today I just want to show you how I achieve that look. It's a it's a look that I find myself gravitating to a lot. Um, I love wearing a nice naked, um, fresh looking, wide awake eye with some bronze cheeks and a little baby pink lip. So today I'm going to show you how I do that. So to start out, I like to use an eyeshadow base. And today I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base and this is just the white one. So I get a little bit of that on my ring finger, and then I just start by patting that on. And the reason I'm using white here instead of my nude base is because I'm going for that really wide awake look, and um, white helps you achieve that. It also is going to help bring out a little bit more of the pigmentation of the yellow color that we're going to use. I always like to make sure I get a little bit in my inner tear duct there, just to kind of like further highlight. And I'm also going to take a little bit and I'm going to sweep it along my brow area. And that's going to also help highlight and open up the eye further. Just like that. And for our eyeshadows today, I'm going to be using the Coastal Scents 88 Color Palette. This is the matte palette. And if you open up here, you'll see... Um, here you have your highlight colors and then you have your second uh, row and that's your yellows and we're going to be working with this top yellow. It's a nice creamy um, lemony color. The one down is a little bit bright. Um, that's more of a neon yellow. So I'm going to work with this top one here. And to start I'm going to take a nice fluffy eyeshadow brush. Um, it's not too big but it's not too small so you get the perfect amount of color deposited um, onto your lid. So you don't really get like a color wash, but you don't really get like a hyper pigmented look either. So just take a little bit on your brush and you're gonna start packing it on the lid there. And the lid is where you're gonna wanna concentrate most of the color for this look. So you just pack it on there. Okay, it's just like that. Okay, now the second step we're going to do is we're going to take an even fluffier eye brush. This is a pretty big um, fluffy blending brush. Um, this one's by Paula Dorf. The other one, I don't know where um, this where you can purchase this one because I actually bought this just from um, a trade show, like an eye mats type makeup show. And um, with this big fluffy brush, we're going to go back into the same color, but this time, we're going to um, sweep it over the rest of the area, the upper brow area. And the reason we're switching brushes is because we are going for more of a wash look. We're not going for like a heavy pigmented color look. So that's kind of just to just wash that yellow color without t packing on that pigment, okay? Now, just to add a little bit of subtle, subtle, subtle definition without taking away that um, yellow refreshed open look. We are going to take a very super, super, super light, light, light brown. And I'm going to take, if you go all the way on the other side of the palette, you'll see um, this second color down right here. And I'm just gonna go back to that first brush that we used, that fluffy brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of that color. And I'm just gonna very subtly, lightly sweep it into um, like the bone area above your crease. Like here's your crease, and then here's this bone right underneath your brow bone. And that's where we're going to um, kind of just apply this color in a very light windshield wiper motion. And it's more for a contouring effect than it is a color effect, just so that your eyes don't look like um, one big like mono lid, just so you have like a little bit of definition and you still look like you have an eyelid. OK, 
okay so you see the difference that that made it made it kind of just kind of just broke up that um those two yellows that we had going on okay, i'm not going to go crazy with eyeliner um i am however just going to use a white liner on my waterline And that's to just further open everything up and make you look um, a lot more awake. You can see the difference between the two. So that just opens your eye up a little bit more. Um, the next step, I'm going to just do my brows. I'm not going to explain this too much because I do have a video on it, so I'm just going to kind of quickly pencil them in. A little bit of clear brow gel to seal everything into place. Okay, and then the final step is mascara to get those big, beautiful lashes. Um, I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous original in black Now, big lashes are very important in this look. Um, it helps play off the um, wide awake look. And also, since you don't have any top liner on, you really can notice your lashes um, a lot more. They, all, they really look really defined against the yellow um, shadow. So, um, obviously, um, I mean, I always make little smudges every time I do my lashes. Um, the best way to deal with that is to just ignore it and leave it alone. Go on to doing something else, whatever your next step may be, and then go back to it and clean it up. So, for right now, those little smudges that are up there, I'm just going to leave. And I'm going to go about finishing the rest of my face. Okay, for a little bit of a bronze and a little bit of a contour, I'm using Max. Um, uh, it's the Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Deep. And I have like a small uh, blush brush that I'm going to use to contour. Get a little bit of that on my brush, and I'm just going to sweep that into the um, the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, and along my jawline. For a little bit of a highlight, I'm using the Max MSF in Soft and Gentle. This is probably one of my favorite highlighters that I like to use. You can see that. And I like to just get a little bit on that same brush and just lightly dust that above um, like the tops of my cheekbones. I don't like to put that anywhere else, especially now because it's the summertime. And on me, my skin just ends up absorbing the makeup and making me look just oily rather than luminescent. And for a little bit of cheek color, I'm gonna use my Ulta Cheek Color in Heartbreaker. It's a nice punchy pink, bright little pink. And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, blush brush, and I'm just gonna find my apples by smiling, and I'm just gonna dust that color right along there. A little bit down my nose, and that's it. Um, nothing too heavy. Now it's time for um, my lips. And I've also, um, way back when I did my foundation, I had put a little bit of Vaseline on to kind of act as a lip treatment so that my lipstick glided on evenly and it looked nice 
um, rather than sometimes you can put it on your dry lips and it looks a little flaky. So um, I'm going to use uh, a little baby pink. I'm going to play with a little color because my eyes are very light, very neutral. So my favorite lipstick right now, well one of my favorite lipsticks is the Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick. It's 901B. It's a really pretty uh, baby pink. So I'm just going to use that. I'm not going to use a liner. I'm not going to get too crazy. Okay, so that's my lipstick. And then I like to top it off with a little bit of lip gloss. And this is the Essence Triple XL Nude Lip Gloss in Nude Kiss. It's a really pretty um, nude pink. It's really ultra glossy and shiny. And it really matches that lipstick really well. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that. And then the last step is to go back and to clean up those little makeup smudges that I made with my mascara. So just take a dry Q-tip. Close your eyes and literally flake away any of those uh, spots that you may have left with your mascara. And if you give, the reason you want to wait is because if you give mascara time to dry, it dries as a dry flaky finish. So it never um, stays soft. If you don't wait, you're going to end up rubbing it and smudging it and then you're going to ruin your makeup. So literally if you just wait five minutes and let it dry, it just flakes right off with a Q-tip. So that's it. That's the finished look. You can see um, how awake and refreshed my eyes look. And then the cheeks and the lips really complement it because it's not competing. Um, it's really working together to give you a nice um, radiant um, open refreshed look so that's um, my yellow eyeshadow look I hope you guys liked it I hope that it works for you and again I want to thank you guys so much for watching um, I really appreciate it and please subscribe if you want to see more thank you